it's time for mercenaries. Oh shit. Let me make sure my titles are correct. Yes, they are. Here it comes. Here comes daddy. It's mercenaries time. Uh, this is the new DLC. Well, quote unquote new, but it did just drop today. Um, for Resident Evil 4 Remake. Now, of course, some people are disappointed that we only get four characters and only four stages. I think it was... Uh, no, we got three stages, not four. It was four in the original. So we have Leon, Luis Serra, which is a new addition. He wasn't in the original. Krauser and Hunk. And Ada and Wesker are coming sometime later to play with. And I've been having a blast with this so far. So let's get right into it. Let's jump right in and let's see what we can do. I'm going to start with the starter character first, Leon on Village. And uh, I played a little bit. As you can plainly see, played a little bit of this. Let me make sure my audio is right. All right, I'm going to go right for the time, which I think the first one is in here. Fuck, how do I get out? How do I get out? How do I get out? Uh, no! I didn't want that to happen. Suck my dick! Suck my dick! All right, let me go. Where's the timer in here? But I might be tripping. There's a guy in the fucking closet, dude. Oh, no, no, no. Out the window I go. I think there's a timer up here. Everyone has individual themes, but one thing I don't like too much is the fact that you bought the classic soundtrack. So the classic Mercs themes for the characters are not in the game, even if you bought the classic soundtrack, and that's kind of lame. I think there's one more timer up here, if I'm not too mistaken. No, it's not. It used to be one in here. No. It's over here, I guess. Oh, fuck. Is it almost time to start killing? Not yet. The fuck off me. Bitch. I guess so. All right. Come on, baby. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's dead. Okay. Uh, I want to throw flashbang real quick. Everybody was kung fu fighting, fighting. Get on your knees. What the fuck? I parry that. Come on, man. That shot. On your knees now. Oh shit! Where's my shotgun? Oh, yes. Did I stall that with my foot? Are you serious? He's down. Oh, shit. Oh, got with a broken neck over there, like Kurt Angle with a broken freaking neck. There's a grenade, buddy. Oh, oh, holy <laughs> yeah. Cut all them arms, baby. Like Swiss cheese. Oh, fuck, I'm on fire. Um, let's see. What we got. Where'd he come from? Holy shit. Oh! Oh, get the fuck off me! Oh my god! Oh shit. Uh, I might fuck myself here. Oh no, absolutely not. Oh, oh, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! What? <laughs> Get 
Get it fucked, my friend! Oh god, they're everywhere. Oh my fucking god, yeah, they got the goddamn fucking dynamite kicking my ass over here! You get some, boys! No! Okay, those kicks are a little bit too explosive. No arm for you. No transforming for you either. Oh, this takes me back. Oh, yes. He's switching. Come on. Let me let me use the sniper rifle. There we go. Leon has a sniper this time, which was, you know, not the original. It's different. His loadout was just like, what is it? A handgun and a shotgun and like a couple of grenades. That was it. On the knee. Chainsaw guy, chainsaw guy, chainsaw guy. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck a dog. There we go. That's one grenade. Uh, let's use another one. Hopefully this will kill him. I don't think it will. Unbelievable. Got him. I gotta fight my way to that time up there. Come on, come on. That blood I got in half? Oh my god. Say goodnight. You too. Oh! Why can't I jump? Oh. Okay. Good night. the fuck? I didn't kill anybody with that. Oh, I dropped my combo. Damn it. Oh, it's popping him with that shotgun. All right, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I was popping him. Well, Leon's not the combo god. I already know who is. His name is H U N K. You're gonna find out what I mean in a minute. Okay, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Ah. Can you just start with the dynamite? Fuck me. Three for one. Let's go. I don't know, man. Leon might be weak, but I like his melee. The headshot. The Ganado can get these work. Yes. Oh fuck. All right, the Plaga dude just needs to go away. That's one for you. I see a Bella sister. I see two of them. All right. Got something for you, baby. Come on. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. Little bullet damage, bullet spray thing. It's not better than Hunks. 
This is like infinite ammo if you get it. So Leon just has something equivalent, but not really as good with the melee mode or, or not melee mode, the um, mayhem mode. I was thinking of Wesker's melee mode that he has with combos. That she should have been released today. Fortunately, wasn't. Have to deal with the burden. Oh my god, you twisty son of a bitch. Flash grenade takes care of the problem. Oh. Fucking dudes with guns. Get off me. Get it. Get this. Get him on his knees. There we go. Parry that. Dude, they're fucking everywhere, man. And people want an extreme mode. It'd be like 90 Ganado on the screen. Alright, fuck this. I know what I'm doing. Oh shit, baby! Oh! He almost got me there. At least I can kill, like, all of them, right? 150. Fresh warm up there. Oh, no. This is the worst phase. But one thing I like is that they tell you all the sub-bosses that spawn on the map. Hey, what's up, dude? I see a new guy in chat. How's it going on? Oh, fuck. I'm dealing with some shenanigans, so if I can't really focus... Uh, I apologize, but I'm trying to blow up these Ganado. This three chainsaw people, like, right after me. Oh, God. Look at this. Look at this. This is crazy. Oh no! No 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 no! You don't give me in a rock and a hard place. I have no ammo, no ammo. Holy shit! Ah. Get off me, bitch! This is. This is insanity. I need... I got one more healing item. I need to get out of this area. Will I be able to do it? At least get 150. He just keeps punching. Come on. I think I can. I think I can. I know I can. Nice headshot there. I'm doing alright, you know, just the typical shenanigans, but I'll live. Oh. This is crazy. One more, one more, one more. He's. That was that. And that's the game. Oh, man, I gotta tell you, it's always something. Woo! Ah. Yeah, boy, S plus. Even though I dropped the combo, unfortunately, it's hard to get like S plus plus with Leon, I swear to God. Okay, we're gonna try the man, the myth, the legend, Hunk. Hunk is by far the best character in this game, and you're gonna find out why in a minute. You're going you're going to find out why in a minute. Show you. First and foremost, I have to get the timers. Now he's kind of a little bit slow, but you know, compensate for the daintiness, the overpoweredness. Get off me. 
Uh, he has a lot of stuff that makes him goad it. Uh, let me just make sure there's nothing back here first. I, is there anything in the house? Man, I forgot. Yeah, there is a timer up here. I I don't know. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out. Uh, this is not like Village where they tell you like where all the timers are, which is very convenient when they do that. And it seems character dependent on where the timers are. So if you pick Leon, it's not going to be in the same place as you would pick someone like Hunk. I just got him off me. You'll see what I mean. There's a timer in that house and it wasn't there when I picked Leon. So they changed it up just a little bit. I think I'm good to start killing though. All right, you're going to see... Why this man is broken. Not only can he do stuff like this, he can do the next snap, which is very convenient. And you, you do this. Uh, Wesker, unfortunately, is not playable in this version yet. Uh, he has been leaked along with Ada. And it's assumed that he's going to be playable when Separate Ways comes out. I assume that maybe they need a little bit more work on Wesker. That is why he's not a playable mercenaries character yet but once he comes he'll be hopefully overpowered <laughs> and i will be playing with him again on stream i played as wesker before in the original uh, a lot he's my favorite character in resident evil which is why i have a uh, wink wink nush nush avatar of wesker and uh my whole channel is based around that avatar <laughs> so it's like yeah Get the fuck out of here. Ah, yeah. So he has, like, that damaging move. His his gun is very powerful. You can kill somebody in, like, one or two hits. It's, it's, he's the easiest character. He's, like, the easiest character to S rank with, as far as I'm concerned. Why is this guy in my way? Villagers! Break the neck. He's, the plug is automatically dead. Like, you don't need anything else. Look how, much, how many bullets I have. This is crazy. Yeah, Wesker can do the thrust punch. He can kick someone's head off. I mean, that's going to take time to code. So, <laughs> I can wait. Make him broken. That's all I need. Now, you're just giving me the power in this raid, Capcom. What are you doing? Really? I think it's one bullheaded guy. I'm gonna do his alt, which is infinite ammo and overpower ammo as well, because I can just keep shooting, no reloading, and uh, you will see that you can kill everything in the area easily. He's fucking. He's he's OP. If you need S ranks, Hunk is your man. I can still keep doing this, by the way. Oh, fuck you. Come on. Oh, he didn't give me the next nap. I need to heal soon, too. I am taking all the brunt of this right now. He's on fire! Fuck! <laughs> a shot. Snap that lady's neck like a twig and a champagne cork. Turn around. There you go, baby. Oh, they spawned another sub boss. I better get ready. Oh, get on your knees. Okay, there's a plaga guy. Oh my! Oh my fucking god. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is throw this grenade. Wait a second. Uh, let me snap your fucking neck, chainsaw guy. <laughs> you can still do that to sub bosses, which is ridiculous. So if I want to snap chainsaw guy's neck, I can do that. I have like no health items, so please give me some more. Okay, Twitcher, he's dead. 
Oh, I'll find him right there. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, fuck. Oh no, get him off me! I had to do it. That was the only way to save my combo. Oh god, no, no, no. Alright, this is a great A level panic. They are really swarming my ass. Oh god, he's behind me! Now I actually have to reload for once. Great. Oh! I am the Grim Reaper, bitch! I am Death himself! Come here! Give me that neck! What's a plaga? Oh, okay. I I don't have a flash grenade, unfortunately. This is bad. Oh, I no. There. Let's use this frag. Maybe I'll get somebody. And I did. He did. I don't know if I'll get the full combo. I'm running out of time. That's bad. One thing I like is that they give you quick time for kills. That's not melee. Usually it's all melee focused uh, with adding to the block and doing certain moves. I almost thought they spawned another chainsaw guy. I remember when you used to do DSP content? Yes, I used to do it. Now it's like, sort of do my own thing these days. I mean, as they say, everything is fun while it lasts. <laughs> Just get your neck snap, boy. Oh my god! Look at this shit. He broke my knife! Come here, baby! Come here! Oh no! Fuck! <laughs> I killed one of them. Damn it. Okay. That's a redo. That's a fucking redo. I got caught off guard by that other Bella sister. I wonder if I could have. I could have pressed the button and broke my other knife, but I, I, I thought I could be quick enough to run away. I got fucked. I got fucked up. <laughs> hey, how's it going, KJ? How's it going? If I'm not paying too much attention to chat, it's because I'm just trying out some mercenaries. Trying not to die. I know I can get S++ on the stage. I did it before. Uh, I'm trying to find out where all the timers are. This is still kind of new to me. So please forgive me. I apologize in advance if I don't know where the timers are for each character. Uh, next one I'll show is Krauser, so don't worry. Oh, really? Are you kidding me? As soon as I jump in here, put your hands on me, you little bitch. Open the door. Oh, God. Okay. I know it's one more timer around here. I just have no idea where it is. Or I don't know if I spawned it. Let me restart. It's so confusing to find out where all the timers are with Hunk. I mean, uh, Phil just does the same shit over and over. That's why it got boring to me. If people still like to riff on his content, hey, more power to you, but I'm just like done. I was like done with it. Like, they're, they're usually each stream I have on average, someone asks me that question, and I'm just like, um, yeah, I definitely don't do Phil content anymore. I try to. Preserve it though on my alternate channel, which is Weaponized Venom. Uh, unfortunately, from what I'm hearing, he is striking down that content for This Is How You Don't Play. So I don't know how long it's going to last. 
So if you enjoy those videos, please watch them while you can. Uh, because if people are getting striked down, I'm not going to fight it. I'm, I'm going to say, eh, well, oh, well. So I'm personally tired of uh, copyright strikes and community guideline strikes and stuff like that. So I, I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm so tired of YouTube at this rate. It's like I got suspended so many times, even on this channel. And I'm like not doing anything. Apparently, that still constitutes to people flagging my stuff. So I'm just like, oh my God. This is why I try to keep my nose clean and mind my business. All right, so far so good with three minutes. I wish it was like four, but whatever. There's a timer out there. I just have to fight towards it, I guess. I don't know if I'm going to make it out there, though. It's like whole village is pouring with these dudes. I'm glad people like my videos on them. I mean, I did them for fun. It was excruciating seeing them fuck up so many times, but I got to put in some entertainment in the world. So, like that is that is that is good. If I made someone's day or I made them laugh, that's all I care about. I think I popped his leg off. Oh fuck! I got scared me for a second. I think it's like three of those dudes. See this? Insanity. Hey, you missed. Oh my god. This is... I think it's time. I want to pop that flash grenade so bad. You have no idea. Yeah, SOK is dead. <laughs> I'm going to be real with people. SOK is dead. I know I used to be a part of them, but... Uh, they are dead. And they are dead clearly for a reason. Because their leader was a lol cow. Holy shit, what's going on? Oh my god. Otherwise, they still be around, but hey, you know. Sometimes bad things have to end. I'm not gonna lie though, when I was there, I had a fun time. It was, it was fun. It was fun ripping on stupid shit and having a show. That was my first podcast that I was on. I took that experience and I made my own podcast. I'm not going to regret everything, you know. It definitely was, you know, everything is a learning experience, as they say. Even if you were involved in something bad. Learning experience. Uh, so I took that and I made my own stuff. And uh, couldn't be any happier about that, really. Oh, there's the two timers right there. But unfortunately, so many enemies... I don't even know if I, I'm getting shot in the ass. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just getting shot. Where'd you come from? What the fuck? Oh. Oh, he almost finished me. That was that was very close. They come from everywhere, all sides, man. This game is crazy. Look at the chainsaw guys right there too. Uh, I'm about to throw this grenade. All right, when in doubt, you gotta do it. Maybe I can break his neck. Just a thought. Oh no, never mind. Let me break his neck. Break his neck. Yes, break his neck. Hunk is the best character in this game by far. For mercenaries, he's unstoppable. He can do anything. His gun is super OP. I gotta just do dynamite. You think I'm standing there, boy? Yo, never mind. The problem is, like, everybody just gets behind me and it gets really hectic that way. Alice was a member of SOK when it was a thing, and she passed away due to cancer, if I'm correct. Yes, that is true. Uh, also, Fred tried to dox her, which made the group look even worse, so there's no coming back from that. 
Like I said, it deserved to die for a reason. You don't dox people that had cancer and or was passing away uh, in a group. Uh, that's not going to be favored by a lot of people, I'm just saying. <laughs> Snap the neck. There we go. I might be able to do this if the twisty boys don't fuck me up. Yep. He's like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm Rocky Balboa. I'm gonna keep punching you. Nothing you can do. Snap his neck. It feels like the neck snap is a little bit slower in this game compared to the original. Still devastating, but I prefer killing the Bella Sisters with it than without it, so I'm not gonna complain too much. I just have to get upstairs. There's only one way I can do this. Uh, I'm gonna throw a random grenade. I'm gonna hope it kills Dynamite Guy. Yes, it does. Alright. There's a guy up here. Uh, come on, go fast enough. Got him. I think I should be good now. Twisty boy has got a posse over there. This is absolutely insane. Uh, how many flashbangs do I have? sad it, it was sad when the day that was revealed because nobody really knew outside of certain people but um like i said it exposed somebody too so it had to come to light but i i was long out of the group when that happened i was i was not in the group when alice was dying so i had no idea that was occurring what the Some, something shot me that's one dead I think they're right behind me. Hello, baby! I'm firing away now. This is... His, his mayhem mode is fantastic. I gotta say, I'm thoroughly impressed with being this overpowered god. Godly cock. <laughs> Where's the other chainsaw guy? I thought no 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 he doesn't spawn yet. Two dynamites, let's see. Hunk is so good in this game. Look at this, he can just instantaneously do that. <laughs> Three in a row! Can I get another one? Oh, I guess not. You think Capcom will make Devil May Cry 6? Yes. When? I have no idea. Because, I mean, Devil May Cry 5 was a success, but... It's clear that Insuna wants to do his own little dream project, which is Dragon's Dogma 2, and after that game, who knows when DMC 6 is coming. If I were to guess, I'm going to say mm, 2027, maybe, you know, around there. So uh, by then, Dragon's Dogma 2 should be out and uh, we should get another DMC this generation. Come on. They were going to get a special edition because why not? Oh, fuck me. Uh. I'm scared. I'm scared, people. Nervous time. Oh, snap! Your neck! Can I get one more? What? He... You see that? He sort of broke out of my... He, he broke out of my neck breaker. Never seen that before. Alright. It clapped. Dude, they keep just holding me like this. This is crazy. Oh my god! Oh, grenade! Grenade! Oh, grenade! Get the... Get off me! 
Golden chicken egg. And grenade. Oh my god! Get the get your dirty hands off me. I threw another one. Oh my god. I think I got it. Oh, let me kill chainsaw guy real quick. Yep. One more. One more. One more guy. Where is he? There he is. And that's the game. 150 enemies killed at the same time. Give me my S plus plus. Okay. Next, I'm gonna play as Krauser. Yeah. Thank you so much. That was that was a little bit terrifying, actually. Hey, <laughs> think about it. Krauser is also pretty damn broken. The bro brokenness, the broken. Um, that will make cry a peak of combat. Probably coming to PC later this year. Oh, I'm gonna be all on that. Like, why don't rise? Uh, I am. Not a lot of people know I'm a massive Double May Cry fan. I did like so many videos on it, lore videos. Uh, I I didn't beat DMC Five yet in terms of the channel for the playthrough, but I played it by myself and like enjoyed it. And. Uh, I'm a huge freak of like Dante, Virgil, all those people. It's just a great combat series that should be a little bit more appreciated. Also, I have to restart because apparently an enemy died, which happens sometimes. Uh, one thing I appreciate about the original mercenaries is there is moments where one enemy will die on the clock and it won't it, it basically won't whittle down until two enemies die on the clock and then it's like okay that's cool uh but for some reason they changed that so i don't like it <laughs> i don't like that they changed that uh krauser jump over the wall how's i get punched in the back of the head are you serious you see that shit Krauser has his knife, which is still good. He has, like, extra knife moves like he did. Well, he had a different knife animation in the original Resident Evil 4. What do you think the next RE remake is going to be? Um, that's a hard one to call. Five. I think it's going to be five. And you, and you know why? It's because it seems they have Wesker's new voice actor now. Uh, they have Chris's new voice actor, which is the guy from Village, Jeff Shine. They already have like two things essential to a RE5 remake on top of some of the animations from this game. Because, I mean, if you remember correctly, RE5 is more or less a big extension of RE4. Uh, that's what it is. So you have the gameplay from this game. It, Capcom loves to cut and paste a lot. It's a no-brainer if they could do an RE5 remake in this vein. You could do Mercenaries now. I mean, they already did Mercenaries for this game, so you got the gameplay mechanics there, right? It's a no-brainer. It's very easy. Okay, I killed one guy, and I gotta keep killing. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, but... It seems what Capcom is doing now is, uh, you know, they're going, like, non-union. Believe me, I think the best Chris Redfield of all time is still Roger Craig in RE5 and RE6. He was such a good actor. And, um, it's a shame that they changed it. But I'm sure Jeff can do what he can, uh, by being serious. I did like him in Village, but it is true. You just can't get it out of the back of your head that he sounds just like Carlos, because he is. Uh, but it's like, ah, what can you do? I understand voice acting, video games, is complicated. Oh my god, they're all over my cock. Go away. Also, Krauser has like a machine gun now. He never had that in the original, only the bow and arrow, so... Bow and arrow is like mostly explosive, so he's even easier to use if I were to judge and rate. Off the roof she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Get off my roof now. 
Goodbye. Place closed. <laughs> oh, yes. He just took that headshot for some reason. Holy fuck. That's a perfect parry. Ooh, all right. RE5 Remake will probably come out next year, like they did for RE2 and 2019. That close, though? For RE5 Remake? Hmm. Maybe. It depends on how long it was in development for, because uh, Remake 4 was in development for, like, what, since 2018? It's been like quite a while. This game was in development at the same time. Just think about it. Dev 1 is so big that apparently they worked on three games at the same time. So, you know what? Now I think about it, you may be right. Um, Because they worked on... Actually, no. Is it four games? Holy shit. So that would be Remake 2, they worked on that in 2018, then RE3 because the voice actress said that both games were in tandem at the same time, but they did um, use that as a way of, what's that word I'm looking for, fuck, uh, outsource? Yeah, they outsourced the game to M2, so that was in development at the same time. Then they were working on RE4 Remake. Once again, it was in development in 2018, and it got restarted, and uh, they worked on it again with Dev 1, I believe. Uh, and then Village was also somewhere around there, so they worked on four games at the same time, or near the same time, which is fucking ridiculous. And you're dead, good sir. So Krauser still has the same arm tech as before. He uses arms to, like, knock away people. Kill them with the stinger move, which is great. I think Capcom's ideal is just, you know, kind of cheap bastards a little bit at the same time. It's like, oh man, we 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 want to go non-union, but we want to have all these new people. Like all all the people who did the voices in this game seem completely new. Like especially Krauser, I never heard of his voice actor at all. Um, and they also want to compensate for that new LA studio, which is the new studio they built for mocap and all this other stuff. I can't believe I killed him. I thought I wasn't going to. There we go. Explosion flambe. How'd I drop my combo? Somewhere I dropped my combo. I must have dropped it when um, I was trying to prep out that arrow for a second. Maybe I dropped it beforehand. I don't know, but I'll continue on from there. Still trying to uh, learn these maps and characters. Let's see. Uh, Dev1 worked on RE2, then took over RE... Then took over RE4 from M2, M2 fully made RE3, while Dev1 made the script. Yeah, they had a part in it. Uh, basically, RE3 Remake has so many cooks in the kitchen, is unbelievable. Which is why, probably, you know, it's the remake that suffered the most. Let's, let's be honest, when people talk about remakes and, and them being... Did I do a backflip? Holy shit. I'm sorry, I'm mesmerized by this game right now. Chainsaw guy died, right? Yes, he did. Stinger! Uh, but yeah, uh, where was I? Yeah, RE3 is the one that suffered the most, my friend. Uh, because... A lot of cut content. And, and this game is not a lot of cut content. But it is a little bit, which I assume they're repurposing for separate ways. So it's not really the biggest deal. Like, it feels like if they cut something in Remake 4, the game still justifies the length and they replaced it with something else. 
and still saw a lot of segments from RE4 in the remake. So the most ideal way to do a remake so far. Yeah. Oh my God. On your knees, bitch. Hurry that. Some animations like you're stuck doing stuff and you can't hurry a fucking thing. There we go. I am so swarmed right now. Wait, do I have a regular grenade? I can just throw that. RE8 was going to be Revelations 3, then it got revamped. I want another Revelations. I feel like Revelations is a series where you see Resident Evil characters that you don't see in other games. It's like, hey, we have Barry Burton. We haven't seen Barry in like years, dude. The last time he was in a game was a non canon scenario of Resident Evil 5 Mercs. So I would like a Revelations 3. You can bring back Billy and Rebecca, do something like that. And people will be like, oh, now here's characters that we don't see very often. Holy fuck. Uh, best thing I could do is throw a flashbang down there if they will ever let me. One. It's two. And that's three. What a nice shot that was. Oh man, I don't want that. Revelations 3 being a Switch exclusive? I don't have a Switch right now, so I'll have to buy one. I hope not. I hope it's something like, okay, I hope it's a timed exclusive, if so. Where it's like, okay, we had Revelations 1 on the 3DS for like a little bit, right? And then we poured it over to consoles so everyone could play it. And I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, you lucky bastard. <laughs> I was like, oh, thank God. Like, the Switch is the last console I'm going to get. I'm, and by then, I'm thinking maybe they're going to upgrade to, like, a Switch 2. So I'm holding off. Like, uh, I wanted to mainly get it for Metroid Prime. And I have a feeling that, of course, uh, the remaster is incredible from what I'm hearing. So I want to just wait and see if I can get Prime 4 on it. Everything's just blowing up, man. Oh, fuck. There's people trying to grab me. That's not good. Bad touch. Bad touch. Chainsaw sister, will you please fuck off? Oh, my God. Hey, they sick with this dynamite over here. Oh. I love this with Krauser. Trying to do another stinger. But that didn't save my life. How many enemies left? Oh shit. Only a couple more. Uh, this is bad. Let's see, Capcom needs to bring lore stuff to all audiences. I agree. You know how crazy it is? Uh, I'm talking about like just also special editions alone. So it's a little bit off topic, but you know how crazy it is when Japan gets these special editions for Capcom merchandise and we don't get jack shit. Like when they did the anthology collection for Resident Evil and they put it in the stars box set for the PS3. It came with almost every RE game at the time that was released and Americans did not get that to my knowledge. I think that was Japan exclusive. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you know, there's people out there, there's Americans out there that will pay cold, hard cash Capcom for these bundles, right? But we don't get them. It's, I hate it. I don't, I don't like that mentality because physical collectors are left in the dust. I would like to own like all the series as much as I can physically and digitally. I mean, damn. I do have a good portion. I think I have every Resident Evil game so far, except for Survivor. That's the only one I don't have. And I don't think I'm missing much, so. 
Oh my god. There we go. I wiped out all the chainsaw people just by doing that two piece alone. You see all that? Krauser's <laughs> amazing. He's the best. Him and Hunk, I'm telling you, incredible characters. You're going to be using them a lot. Uh, I'm going to show Louise next. Dirty Louise, because... I'm not I'm not really good with Luis. He's he takes a lot of work. I'll show you what I mean. Oh god. Oh one thing I like is the detail. Uh when Krauser does the monster arms, his sleeves will rip once he goes back to normal. Like one of those cool little things that you just notice. Off. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, Capcom only knew these Americans would pay a lot of money for these bundles. Yeah. And one other thing I don't like that Capcom does is they're starting now to put their games only on digital. So it's some games that they're making the that you can only get digitally if it's really like obscure or something like that. Um, I'm trying to think of an example, but I can't right now off the top of my head. I just know that Some of their games they're they're putting on digital and not physical at all And I know people complained about that when that was happening and I'm just like fuck man Do you remember the uh, Resident Evil Chronicles games? Yes, I do actually I have dark side and I have Umbrella Chronicles on my PS3. There were nice little side games uh, that you could play um, that actually added in lore context because it's not all a bridge. I think there is versions of um, the story where it's like all new content. So when you play with like Wesker and you do Dark Legacy on Umbrella Chronicles, that's like totally what if you see the events of Wesker escaping the mansion? Or what if you see him doing something in the Russian Caucasus region? Uh, it's it's an interesting side game. And I think um, Darkseid also did the same with Operation Javier, which adds in the story of how did Krauser's arm get infected? And why did he turn to Wesker for power? So it's... It's worth playing if you really love Resident Evil and you really love the story and the lore to it. Uh, so one thing about Luis here is that you will notice he's very, very, very slow. He has the slowest running speed of all the characters in the game. Uh, but he makes up for that by having dynamite, which is able to blow away sub bosses and enemies when you shoot them. Also, he does not get blown up by it. So that's really cool that they consider that. But yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of Luis, so I wish his run speed was just a little bit more faster for my taste. It's not that great. Of course he has the red 9, but hey, I mean, it's the first time Luis is playable in RE4 Mercenary, so they did something right. Halfway. <laughs> Halfway, partially. Maybe. What the fuck? I looked away for a second in chat, and I probably shouldn't have done that because he just snuck up on me like white on rice. Uh, Luis from RE4, it's game time. My favorite line, which I'm glad they kept it in this game. Oh, sniper rifle, please. And that did not kill him. Ow, why? Yep, I lost my combo. I'm going to restart that. I'm going to restart that because that was a bunch of cockamamie. <laughs> oh, let me cut on my fan because it's kind of hot. So give me a second. That's something explodes when I do that. Holy shit. How much Ada's DLC will be? $20 or more? I... Hmm... It depends. I heard voice leaks and clips from that DLC, so I assume it's probably coming out near the summer, knowing them? I mean, you want to hit on the remake train while it's red hot and maybe get out a gold edition, so... Honestly, here's here's my wish list, which is not gonna happen. Um, Operation Javier story as DLC, Ada campaign as DLC, 
Uh, then you get the free Mercs characters like Wesker, Mafia Leon, Ada, all that stuff. 25 bucks. Now, all that work, I doubt it, because you're getting like two uh, story DLC campaigns. So, at most, if they just do uh, separate ways, it's going to be probably 20 bucks. Just like Shadows of Rose. That was like twenty dollars, and it was just one DLC campaign. But I'm thinking two, so maybe like double down twenty five dollars, thirty bucks. Yeah, I, I don't think it's gonna. I don't think separate ways is gonna be free. I think we're gonna have to pay for that, and it's gonna be. It's definitely gonna be twenty bucks. Twenty bucks is the sweet spot for DLC, uh, that standalone story DLC content or just um, story DLC content in general. In my opinion, I, I think that's fine. That's that's totally fine. But if they do two of them, you know Capcom is going to double the price. It's going to be like almost 40 bucks knowing them. So we, 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 will, we will see. You never know. You never know. Oh, one enemy died because of all the fucking... Um, what the hell is it? It's the friggin' flaming balls. I must have killed somebody. Which I hate. Sorry, though. I just think I, I he fell on the fucking stairs. Hmm. <laughs> mm. It depends on which version you had of Resident Evil 4. Remember now, Separate Ways was never in the original GameCube release of Resident Evil 4. So. Essentially, if you wanted to play separate ways back in the past, you needed to buy Resident Evil 4 again on the PS2, which in my case, that game was $50. So, essentially, if you bought the GameCube version, that was $50. And if you bought um, the PS2 version, that was also $50. So it's going to be a little bit cheaper this time around, at least. That's what we have to take into consideration. Oh my god, what is going on? Great flaming balls of fire. I lost my combo twice. This is a wash. I can't I can't do Louise on castle. I just can't do it. I'm gonna try village. I think village is much better for this character. Oh, I remember that. Shinji Mikami threatened to cut off his own head if RE4 went to the PS2 and look what happened. It uh eventually did um i think that it was a smart business move even though he didn't want it at the time mikami was very nintendo focused so clearly he said that because he's like i don't, I don't want my precious video game that i slaved and made time and money for to go to a rival platform but i'm just like okay resident evil was bread and butter known because it was a PlayStation exclusive in the past like RE1 blew up because it was a PlayStation exclusive now I I, I understand um, we live in an age where multi-plat is king I, I don't neglect people that like to play on PC or Xbox or stuff like that that's fine but again I don't I don't understand his big beef with Sony back in the day is very weird you know like, uh, Code Veronica definitely would have sold more if it came on the PS2 first when the Dreamcast was, like, fucking dead. Um, it was just the next big phenomenon around the corner. I love the Dreamcast, too. I, I appreciated that system when I had it, but I'm like, yeah, man. Definitely not a wise move to have Code Veronica as a console exclusive on that platform when the Dreamcast was dying out. Oh man. I have a feeling somebody's behind me. I just I just know it. Didn't parry that. I wonder how good this is. You know, this Rat 9 definitely killed him like two, three hits, so it's not that bad. Yeah, you're gonna wanna use Luis for getting single kills, because that's the only way you're gonna really add to that combo meter. That and the explosive, which I'll show in a bit. 
Oh, there's mission shots. Who's winging them? Uh, time to grenade. You know what time it is. Time for that grenade to go out. Bitch. There you go. They're out half the village that way. What the fuck? There we go. On your knees, ho. That guy's wearing a fedora. What is that? Oh my god. Come on. Respect the pipe. I also noticed, like, I think Luis is the only character that has, like, two interchangeable uh, head attacks. Maybe I am mistaken there. I think Krauser has a few of them as well, so that's kind of different. Very nice for crowd control. Wish I used the pipe there. Fuck that Foga guy. Uh, we have a guy to spawn. That is the Bullhead guy. I hope we get a Kovranka remake one day. I think we will, but it's not going to be anytime soon, I believe. Uh, because just like RE3, Kovranka is also treated as a red-headed stepchild of the Resident Evil series, even though it progressed the story in a very, very poignant and meaningful way and is very important because, hey, this is where Wesker comes back. Oh! oh! Explode, please. Thank you, God. Put the dynamite down and wait until they walk into it or you shoot it and it detonates instantly. Here, have another one. Come on, come on. There we go. Sometimes it's hard to hit. <laughs> I think if Luis had like another weapon like a machine gun he'd be fine but everyone has a machine gun so everyone can't have it all oh my god i'm getting beat the fuck up <laughs> i'm getting beat up i'm about to throw this frag holy shit oh back up cabron shit i missed The sniper is just... Oh! Not my most treasured weapon, amigos! But we got this down pat. Nice. Get him on his knees. There you go, bitch. Oh no! Ugh. I was waiting for that to explode. Hey Chainsaw guy, suck on this! What the fuck? Someone hit me from behind! Have another one. Oh, it's in the grass, I can't see it. I think I killed him though. Excellent. Oh, this Red Knight is really powerful. Holy crap, man. Holy moly. Respect the pipe. Keep telling you. Hit it like Hagar. Oh, sweet shit. Nice. <gasps> ah. Holy fuck. You're going to stop trying to hit me with that fucking <laughs> blade. <laughs> He's trying to smack me with it. Uh, the remake changing Louise's backstory wasn't actually a retcon. The archives book confirmed what he said in OG was a lie. Remake used the actual backstory of him being an umbrella researcher. Batter up. You know, I actually do like that. Even if they brought it more to light, the fact that he worked for Umbrella Europe and he worked on the Nemesis program is some good writing. So now, you know, Nemesis having little traits of the Plaga makes sense. Which is what people were worried about when they revealed that 
for the first time and i'm just like everything's gonna be okay guys just wait until the game comes out maybe it'll make sense and now you have your connective tissue and i'm pretty sure someone's gonna be like <laughs> this is not good this makes no sense this is, this, this, this is bad and resident evil now is woke this is this is terrible guys like yeah people are already saying that bullshit oh i'm just like jesus christ no matter what you do even if you can make a very stellar and solid game you know you can't please everybody uh -huh, i have no health items which is amigos Definitely not a good sign. I'm still hanging in there though, shit. They're throwing everything at me right now. I'm gonna stand right here. Fight it out. Oh my god, I shot the dynamite mid air! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, Leon, uh, not Leon, oh, I think it's Leon. Uh, Luis is faster at aiming if you use the explosive. I just noticed that. Oh my god! Oh fuck, I am not beating them. It's not happening. If I had my dynamite up. Pretty much would kill him, but maybe I can. I just put this down real quick. What? I was pressing L1. Why couldn't I parry her? That was that was a little bullshit. What was my rank? Either way, I got an S. So even if I died, I got an S rank. I want to do that over again. I couldn't dodge the knife lady unless you can't. I mean, the chainsaw lady. Oh, you got my fucking gardening tools confused now. <laughs> chainsaw dude got me with hunk at the last minute too. Yeah, that tends to happen. Um, unfortunately, they have this animation where they go into a frenzy. And once they do that, apparently sometimes you could either knife out and other times you can't. I, I would assume maybe it's because I had like a boot knife. I couldn't do that. That's unfortunate. It's okay. We can try again. I was doing pretty okay there, actually. Holy shit, I had a combo and everything. I never really got a S rank with Luis, like, a lot of the times. Like I said, I find him to be... He just... The way he runs is... It annoys me a lot. Yeah, um, re 4 story now is a little bit more interconnected with the series, so I don't know why that's a bad thing. As I said, can't please them all. Can't please them all. Definitely can't please them all. There was a guy on my Twitter feed taking all the fucking review bombing seriously for this game, saying that, oh, this shows that Resident Evil 4 Remake is bad because a lot of people are review bombing it because the Ashley ballistics line is not in anymore. I was like, really? Is that a valid and nuanced review? Think about it. Think about it because a script is different. Uh, remake two script was also different and changed a lot of key lines and people praise that game to the high moon on review score for critics and user score. So it's like, if the shoe is on the other foot, wear it. That's what I think of reviews. I don't take too much talk into them. It's just a little talking point at the end of the day, and that's it. People who take review scores seriously and can't form their own opinion, uh, I just, I just, I just think you have you have something wrong with you. Like, <laughs> it's like, but it's the same thing with the Mario movie, right? Because. People are going saying, oh, this movie's fucking heat, man. What are these people talking about? Saying that it's it's a low critic score. It's like, of course, everyone has an opinion, but it's I see people who took that critic score seriously and decided not to see the movie. Stop dictating the fact that someone else makes a fucking number 
and you can't form your own opinion on a piece of media. Now, shit is expensive. People have differing values of price. The value of a dollar is relative to the observer. I know that, but I would never in my wildest imagination say, oh, Mario got like a 40, what is it? A 49 or 50 or something on Metacritic or Rotten Tomatoes. I'm not seeing this movie anymore. Anything I'm invested into, I'm going to see eventually or I'm going to buy it. It's just one way or the other. That's that's my interest. If I'm not interested, then I stay away. But if I'm interested, I go check it out for myself and see how it is. And if it is up to snuff, I say so. If it's not, then I say so. Too many people just just let Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic judge everything for them. And it's like, people, goddamn. Fuck Rotten Tomatoes. I saw that chat. Yeah, fuck Rotten Tomatoes. That's how I feel about it. Sometimes, man, I, I just, I just don't, I just don't even bother. Oh no, there we go. Premature explosion. We Jesus Christ. Protect me, protect me, protect me, protect me. Thank you. Got one more. Hello, boys. That one actually did, kind of, unless someone threw dynamite. I heard that Luis's uh, dynamite actually does not hurt him. So someone must have threw that. There we go. He still take the pipe. Three melees there, awesome. They are just relentless to Luis on this mode. Let's see, the connector tissue for Rev1 and RE5 was Jessica actually being an agent for Excella, which I didn't know that actually. Holy shit, you're for real? That I did not know. And I call myself the Resident Evil lore enthusiast, man. Come on. <laughs> oh. Oh, I gotta reload. This is not good. That was insane. Uh, I got another flashbang, so I might as well use it. Please. Are you fucking serious? Where was he? Oh, these chainsaw guys sneaking up on me like they're Sam Fisher or like Solid Snake. Oh my god. I'm doing that again. That's <laughs> like, oh my god. Chainsaw guy is in the wings, apparently, according to this game. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh-huh. Let's do this again. <gasps> that was funny, though. I'm not gonna lie. That, that death was funny. I'm not even mad at that. Oh, no. Please don't hit me. I'm too pretty. I'm too pretty, baby. It came out of nowhere. <laughs> it came out of nowhere. Jump into this one, though. Okay, let's see. The game doesn't want me to switch back to Hunk. You don't want that. He's broken. He's coming back. Well, that makes you get your mayhem mode faster, I see. I'm pretty sure there's one timer I missed. I don't know where it is. Oh, let's check back here. Oh no, it has to be all the way on the other side. Wish Louise could run faster. Ow, fuck. Unfortunately, he cannot. Oh, sorry, this is my house now. All right, time to start killing. I like Louise. I want to like him, but damn it, man. I hope when they patch this game and put Wesker in, make him a little bit faster because his run speed is just killing me. Oh, 
But every character has their strengths and weaknesses. A hunk has no weaknesses, but it's like. <laughs> so I get that. I'm sure somebody's gonna S rank all these stages with Louise and make me look like a pussy. So it's gonna happen. I accept that. It's alright. If you can do it, do it. I don't know if I'm going to because uh, the Let's Play curse is real. AKA talking to people and trying to concentrate at the same time. Usually very tough to do. I'm very good with parrying though. Like at this point, it's just second nature. Arm came off. Uh, I'm going to use a heavy grenade. Oh, and that will clear most of them. Oh, he missed. What a bitch. <laughs> oh, coño, 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 coño. Oh, fuck. I messed up the combo. Restart. <sighs> Let me see. Uh, extras with the Japanese Rev 1 had. Excella undercover interviewing Jessica before the mission, reminding her to bring back some homework, aka the T Abyss. Oh, I never knew that. I'm, I'm learning something new every day about Resident Evil. Thank you for telling me that. That's something that I had to bring up uh, in my Discord when I talk Ari over there, because wink, wink. Of course, I have a survival horror server, so. I, I, I promote that thing like every fucking day. I'm like a cheap whore for shilling that. <laughs> it's like, oh, they got in the closet. Oh, he came out of the closet. Oh. And we are going upwards. I almost thought for a second. I don't know why. I thought they spawned the chainsaw guy. I was about to say, holy fucking bricks. There's the other timer. It's all the way back there. No, stop. <laughs> he just ran right towards me with that pitchfork, man. Okay, I think it's time to start killing him. I'm not too mistaken. Oh, get on your knees. Unless it's it was stuff back here. Hey. Hola, senorita. Anything? Oh, fuck. They come on like a posse. All right. All right, let's party, boys. Hey, he's dead. Thought I could parry him and her, but apparently I can't. Uh. Oh, fuck. I'm really about to lose the combo again. I played too much with my food here. Oh no, not today. Get off me. Oh! <laughs> Say my name, baby. This is. Yeah, this is a little bit too crazy for me. Holy shit. We were like way too close. They're like, I'm hungry. Keep forgetting, they're not zombies. There was one guy I was like criticizing right on my um, Resident Evil. Uh, your criticism sucks, and he just kept it, it kept annoying me too. He kept calling the Ganado zombies. Only well, they're not zombies, man. They're Ganado, Lost Plagas. They're not T virus zombies. Clearly, they're they're not biting into you. They're not slow moving, decrepit zombies. Of course, they're kind of decrepit looking. And, and they're not normal, but it's Lost Plagas. It's clearly a difference. And that kept getting on my nerves. I was like, oh my god. I don't like when people do that. I, I don't like when people call Ganado zombies. Because they're not. Even Leon and... I, I think Leon and Chris clearly say they're not zombies. Like, holy shit, can you read? <laughs> like, holy shit. <laughs> 
This leg came off, no problem. This is really a bad, this is like a bad spot to be. Uh, I got the pipe move, but I'll take it. Okay, a sub boss spawn, I think it's the bull guy. Oh, light my fire, bitch! Hello? Oh, where'd he come from? Like a wrecking ball! Here, one more for the road. Have another one. Ow. That one's gonna kill the guys over there. Yep, I was right. Hello. Oh, fuck. I am very close to death. Alright, let's stand on the open. Seems Luis's thing is leg shots. I should stick on that. Oh my god, this is great. Oh no, you get your you get your fucking ass out of here. There we go. Oh, we got a flog in the building. I think I am going to throw a heavy grenade right in the center. Goodbye, boys. Hasta luego. Another sub boss? A fucking chainsaw guy. Here, I need my damn revenge on you, dickhead. Goodbye. <laughs> Vengeance is mine. Oh shit! Oh shit! There's a boy. Just see. <laughs> I get so scared when I see the lob. Oh my god. Ow! Tell me. Uh, I'm gonna throw the mini frag because this is absolutely insane. Okay. I shot him in his dick like five times. I <laughs> just shot him in his dick. Yeah, just go for the legs with Luis. That's the tech. Really now? Oh god. Wait, they're really trying to fuck me up now. That shot. And try to get a pipe in there too. You twisty son of a bitch! They threw dynamite, so oh I need to heal very badly. Twisty boy fucks me up. Ah, there we go. Oh. There we go. This raining men and women. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hello, ladies.
Please, how's it going? Oh God. This is a tight situation. There's <laughs> two Bella sisters just standing there. Chase, chase, chase all in it. Please tell me I killed them. Kill one of them. Oh my lord, she almost got me. That was my last grenade, man. Oh my god! <laughs> Gentlemen, I need you to get out of my way. Here we go. Pipe time. Woo! I still have the combo. This is unbelievable. Oh my god. <laughs> this is insanity. Oh, I don't like this. See that baby green herb there for a second. A little microbe of weed. Uh, sniper time, I guess. I don't know if I'm confident for this. Maybe I am. Make the heads go pop. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I am a, I am surgical with this bitch. Oh shit, he's about to grab me. That has one arm. This bitch ass. Oh fuck me, where did you come from? I need that health so bad. <laughs> it's like, look at this mess. I might be able to do this. Careful. Uh, right, hang on, boys. This is so. Get your ass out of here. I got an idea. I don't know if he's gonna fall into my trap. All oh, the times the game needs to spawn like a goddamn flash grenade would be nice. You know what? Got an idea. Hello, baby. I need you to go right into that. There you go. Come on, come on. Yes! Perfectly timed. Hey, so guys, not dead. He is not dead. He's not... Oh, man! Oh, my God! Oh my god, I almost had the combo, but you know what? Fuck it, I'll take it. Uh, the problem was I didn't have enough grenades. Otherwise, I would have cleared that. You know what? I'll take it. And that's the game. What did I get, though? I still got S++? Oh, shit! You know what? You know what? I'll take that. I'll do it. I'll take that. Uh, let's see. I want to do Island with Punk again. 
Only got an S plus for that. I wonder, will anything change? Will anything change? Similar thing happened with Rev2. Whoever at BSA told Barry about Moira's call lied about it being recent, hence why his surprise was that it was six months earlier. Yeah, there's the mole in the BSA. That one I knew about, though. The other one I did not, but... Setting up some interesting story for what's going on with the future of Resident Evil because the BSAA is now corrupt. Stop pushing. Get the fuck off me. They're trying to grope me. Get off me. <laughs> what a bitch. Okay, I think this is. Oh man, I didn't mean to initiate the combo. I meant to try to get them out of my way, but that was a bad place in general. I will not go back there next time, even though there's like a first aid back there. It seems worth it, but when you get stuck and it's like 10 dudes. No, it's not worth it. Sometimes I'll reset if I feel like I started the combo too early or if I feel like it's a bad run. Uh, there's one more of us all the way. Oh, shit. I gotta go all the way back downstairs. Are you kidding me? So far, this is fun, man. I If you like mercenaries, you would probably like this. Uh, it's a lot more honed. I like that they show the sub bosses now. I can't wait until Wesker comes out. I'm gonna be smacking people with my hands. I'm gonna be doing all crazy shit. That's my favorite character. There's one more timer right here that I know of, and there's a yellow mayhem mode marker all the way down here. Oh wait, wait, wait! There's another timer. Hold on. You can clear a hunk easy. God. Am I able to just get on the machine gun turret now? Yes. I can do that. Oh, shit. Not yet. Now. Hello, fellows. How's it going? Just utilizing this to my benefit. Motherfuckers. Apparently, killing the baby plaga gave me time. Can you see that? Oh, fuck, this is crazy. Woo! This is the craziest. Oh, man. Can you imagine playing RE5 mercs like this? A fucking co op? Oh, I'm gonna have me a damn good time. Uh, Ren, what do you think of Lily Gal deleting posts because of the harassment campaign that people had over her voice? Ada Wong and RE4 Remake. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, this is. People, this is little dick energy, like, for real. <laughs> what is what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, I'm not talking about just the people who harassed her. Like, come on, man. Come on. If you don't like the portrayal of the character, okay, fair enough. I I think Lily Gao is um hit or miss. Is some scenes where she sounds bored, and it's some scenes where she sounds seductive, and it works for Ada Wong. And I'm, I, you know, I'm fine with saying that because, of course, it's just my thought and process on it. And I'm not going out and harassing the actress. It's like one thing to separate the art from the artist. And people can't do that anymore. They're fucking stupid. <laughs> like, like, they can't separate art from the artist anymore. Now it's like, oh, I didn't like this performance. You are actually this character. Your your family and 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 everything and who you are. You are this fictional character just because you portrayed them in a fictional world, fictional setting. I don't like this character. So go off, fuck you. It's the same thing that people did with fucking Laurel Bailey and Abby. It's like she's not her character. She's just a voice actress trying to get paid and get some money. 
the sooner people understand and not be so schizophrenic and psycho over this bullshit, the better. I don't condone when people do that. Now, like I said, she's hit or miss. I don't, I don't think she's the best eight at all. I don't, I don't. But I'm not gonna harass her. That's what I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna go and say, oh, fuck you, all this other stuff. I'm not gonna, you know, I got more sanity to me than that. Come on, man. This is why the internet is a blessing and a curse. Because it's a blessing because you can meet so many amazing, wonderful, cool people. Um, so many amazing and, and beautiful individuals, right? Um, and it's also a curse because you got psychos like this who can't take, who can't understand that it's not, it's not the actress's fault for fucking uh, embodying a character. Like I said, talk about the performance all you want to. That's fine. That's I, I think that's I think that's fair game. But the harasser? No, man. Come on. There's no planet where that is sane. I am so I am dead as dicks. Yeah, this is a terrible spot to be in right now. Never come back here. That's that's life lessons right there. If you play this, don't come back here and do this. A bull guy's dead. There's a plug of that spawn. And he's taking a hell of damage. Holy shit. Infinite ammo. A license to kill. Hunk's faster too, I noticed that. But when he's in mayhem mode, he's definitely faster. Yeah, it's pretty shitty. Um and it just sets a bad precedent for the community, like oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. The Resident Evil community looked pretty bad that day. And I know it's not everybody, like it's just the insane motherfuckers that are are two hits short of a six pack, if you get my drift, like they're fucking their brain is mush. Oh, I hate Lost Plagas. I'll just be snapping your neck, buddy. All right, snap, crackle, pop. Oh, fuck. He's just reaching for me, too. He's <laughs> like, come here, let me grab you. That's the guy with RPG? No. Now there's RPG enemies on this stage, which makes it... Gotta really watch out. Please drop that. Thank you. I don't think I killed him. I think I just knocked him down. Yep, now he's dead. Oh! Oh, this guy. I'm gonna burn to death. Hook. Hook like Popeye's chicken, buddy. Alright, now I can throw a flashbang. No, I, I don't think she deserved any of that. There's a couple of psychos. I'm gonna call this motherfucker out, too. Nakasato from Wesker's Report. You are a fucking dickhead. You are. I, I never liked this guy. And, and, and fucking, he was like trying to condone harassment for this chick. Fuck off. Unbelievable. All because of a performance, man. Oh, she deserves to be harassed. Oh, no, you have to what? Get the fuck out of here, dude. Like I said, it's fine to say I didn't like the voice, but to go and do all that, it just makes you look stupid. <laughs> Can't put it any other way. You are like that dude is a fucking clown, man. A Resident Evil purist clown. I, I will. I will say it again too. I don't care if he sees the video or not. He can suck my dick. <laughs> ah. Oh, get him off me! Oh, there we go. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh well, I got super lucky there. Oh my god! Oh, look at this me, fighter baby. God, RPG just pushed me. Like, what's up? Okay, this is. Let's see. I have enough health for like this is my last heal too. Oh, oh that's one. That's two. I need a grenade now. This is heavy business. Two sub bosses that spawn somewhere. Oh, here they come! Let me snap your neck, Mr. Bull guy. It's your turn now. Come here, bitch. Ten more and it's over. Okay. Uh down here. I'm just gonna throw a grenade with him. Oh my god, this is insane. Just snap your neck. No, you don't. Oh no, he's gonna fuck up my combo. No, no, no. Fucking better not. Don't you dare. One more. And that's the game. Another one with Hunk. S plus plus. Here we come. Oh, it's just very easy. I, I think you get the hand cannon if you S plus plus all stages, right? With all characters. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Uh, let's see. What do we have? What do we have here? Though? You know what? I'll do castle with Krauser and see how that goes. No, hopefully good. I'm probably gonna go really, really bad. <laughs> yeah, she didn't deserve any of that, man. It's um. Although I will say this, I, I here's one thing I don't like, and I blame Capcom for this. I don't like that Capcom decided to replace Jolie Anderson, um, and they managed to just go ahead and get back. Nick Apostolides with Leon and you know everyone else, but they replaced Jolene, and it's just like, what the fuck? That's one thing I don't get. I think they were trying to do some brownie points and get the actress from Welcome to Raccoon City to do the voice, and uh, they had no discernible clue as to how to handle it so they just completely replaced Jolene and I that's one thing I hate it I don't I don't like the fact that they did that um I feel like they I, I basically feel like they replaced Jolene for like absolutely no reason um but like I said I, I don't hate Gal I I just think that in certain I, I think the best scenes where she shines is when she's like flirting with Leon uh because she sounds natural it sounds fine but when she's randomly talking and, and other stuff, it just sounds like the voice director didn't do a good job at directing her to emote better. She sounds a little bit bored, you know what I mean? Uh, so that's the problem. Not the worst voice actress in the world. I mean, <laughs> you, you read the script and, and seen the voice acting for the old Resident Evil for Resident Evil 1? That was absolutely terrible, wasn't it? I don't care if people have nostalgia, it's it's bad. It's very bad. Oh my god, they started the combo again. So one thing I don't like about the stage is that the great flaming balls of Pisa uh will sometimes hit one enemy and the timer will start automatically, and I don't like that. I think I talked about it before, but yeah. So you gotta really be careful. Uh 
when running around because sometimes that will happen. I'm trying to get up here without little to any hassle before the timer starts. They're going to keep constantly punching me. Jolene is in high demand. I know when I talked to Jolene, because we did interview her on the podcast, uh, she said she was working on a project, but we all assumed it was like Resident Evil Remake 4. Uh, we didn't know that Capcom never called her back. That was like new information, so... Uh, that kind of took me by surprise. I was like, God damn, well... Uh, they wanted to go into a new direction. And like I said, for better or worse, her voice is... Like, Gal is alright. She's okay. She's not... My favorite Ada is actually not Jolene or Courtney Taylor or um, Lily Gao. It's actually uh, Sally Cahill from Resident Evil 2 OG and Resident Evil 4 OG. I think that was the perfect actress for Ada, bar none. Uh, nailed it. Uh, completely, the tone matches, seductive, mysterious. Uh, that was her best voice actress ever. And um, yeah. I, I think she was also in the Chronicles games, too, if I'm not too mistaken. That was Ada's best actress, Sally Cahill. If they need to match up to anyone, they need to match up to her because she was the best one. Oh, fuck. It's, it's also some voice actors that I like more in the original than the remake. I think Prowser... Uh, was definitely better in the original voice acting wise than remake uh, someone equated it to it sounds like a guy trying to smoke 30 packs of cigarettes and come off as intimidating whereas the original guy didn't need to do all that he just had that voice been a long time comrade it just sounded right you know overall but you know no no disrespect to the original um no, not the original no no disrespect to the new actors you know they did their job and that's what they did um, i didn't even know a boss spawned glorious plagas i hate that dude in the red now he just fucks everything up They spawn in all types of lost plugs over there, so I'm going to mitigate this by throwing a grenade. And I'm gonna do this. Say goodnight. Oh, he's not dead, is he? Oh, I got something for his ass. Take it. Trying to keep mayhem mode. Oh, I love his knife melee. It's so good. It's like a combo. Dude, I'm just imagining the potential with Wesker. He can just infinite. He he can just do that infinite combo and just do that. There we go. Uh, where is everyone else? Okay. Downstairs, and it's the guys with the things on their heads. Have a good night. Part of me almost wants to go back downstairs, but fuck it. Sally also dubbed over Ada's voice for Retribution. Which was that? Was that the live action movie? You know, the Resident Evil movies, like, live action sucked ass, so... Except for the first one. The first one was kind of decent. And the rest just sucked, so... I don't think I... Did, did we watch Retribution on the podcast channel? I don't even remember. It's been so long. Maybe we did. Uh, I gotta find out. I gotta go back. I don't think so. Uh, which one was Retribution? They're so bad, I'm trying not to remember. Oh, wow. He got back up like nothing. I'm doing that again because he fucked my combo.
I at least want to get 100 kills. Dark Side Chronicles was the only fumble with Ada. It was already wearing gear and doing acrobatic attacks. Then pulling the civilian cart. Mm, oh yeah, that's when Leon and Claire are like sort of working together and they encounter Ada. And she's like, she has the whole... I just remember the cutscene where she has... She's killing the dogs, essentially. Excuse me. Uh, she's killing the dogs, essentially, and she kicks one of them like Alice from Resident Evil 1. If I remember that correctly, that happened in that game. Well, why you should, uh, how the hell is... Leon clearly sees her doing all these moves, so she's a trained person. How is... She's definitely not a civilian. <laughs> Why is he pushing me? Stop! Wait, he could do he could do a little knife sprint. I didn't know you could do that. Oh wow! So oh, that's something. If you hold L one and then press R one, he'll do that. Dude, crowds is insane. Your turn next. Oh my god, he parried that! Oh my god! He's insane! Dude. That's fucking awesome. I fall down the stairs like a bitch. There we go. All in all, it just shows that the RE fan base are just as bad as Star Wars. You know all the bullying for Star Wars? Like, people couldn't handle the fact that there was a black stormtrooper. They couldn't handle Reva. They bullied so many other actors from the prequel trilogy to the point where they wanted to commit suicide. And I'm like, oh my god, man, these people are deranged as fuck. When it comes to extreme is that bad, I, I don't associate. I don't associate, uh, and if I do, I disconnect myself with them as soon as possible. <laughs> That's just pretty terrible, man. I kick them out of my groups. I kick them right the fuck out. I ain't got, I ain't got no cut cards about it either. I will kick them the fuck out. I'll be like, all right, good, and go, go play on the street somewhere, you dumb bitch. I don't play these games with like extremist motherfuckers. I don't. Maybe I'm getting older, but I'm just like, I don't want that in my inner circle. Oh. Gloria Las Plagas. Oh, God. Is the chance I have no grenades? Well, I have plenty of grenades, actually. I was thinking of something else. I have no ammo. Yeah, I am running out of ammo for this TMP. There we go. Oh, that's a killing spree. Killing frenzy. I think Star Wars and DC have to be the worst fandoms out there, man. Star Wars and DC. Because you have the crazy Snyderverse people, right? That, um... And that keep, you know, bothering and harassing people every day. And then you have the Star Wars people that are... You know why they're super bad. It's like, holy shit. They're called the Phantom Menace for a reason. So, those are, those are really bad. I would also say the way people kind of react uh, to Last of Us is also pretty fucking terrible. Like, I'm talking absolute insanity. Like, I, I would say that just the reaction in general to, like, Last of Us stuff. Because, I mean, I, I like, I, I pretty much enjoy Last of Us content, but the way people act about that series is fucking just, oh my god, man. Terrible individuals all around. Uh, 
there was a girlfriend reviews thing where people were like trying to fake their death just to make her look bad. I was like, what in the holy hell is that? Never in my wildest imagination would I think stuff like that just goes that far. But apparently it does, so it's like an average day on the internet apparently. Otherwise, every everything else just feels tame in comparison. How how do you how do you beat that? The stuff that goes on in the DC fandom, Last of Us fandom, Resident Evil fandom. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna pull this off. Yep. Damn it! I wanted to get an S so bad on that. I'm gonna I'm gonna restart one more time. Uh, none of the voice cast have considered killing themselves yet, so that's not a comparison. Yeah, but I mean, that's pretty bad to, like, tell someone that you're gonna go ahead and threaten their baby and their child over a video game. And, and I'm talking about the, the Last of Us comparison there. Uh, for Resident Evil, I mean... It's it's getting there. It's getting pretty terrible. Uh, I'm trying to think of the worst thing that I, I've seen: cosplay bullying, Resident Evil. I've seen shaming. I mean, the stuff that people are saying. Someone could do Sudoku, and it'd be like, well, that's on your hands because you don't know that that's another person behind the screen. Oh, fucking hell, dude! I hate when. Oh man. Those flaming balls get on my nerves. Fla flaming balls? The flaming balls like keep hitting people and, and killing them. And it starts the combo. And I'm like, I don't want the combo started. Stop. So you, you, the first thing you have to do is, this is why I, I keep getting hit a lot when I run in. You have to run in here really quickly so the zealots don't get killed. Uh, yep. Well, it's time to start fighting then. It's only a matter of time before it gets worse at this rate. That's what they always say. Come on, your niece and love me. Okay. After this, I'll play like one more and I'll be done for today. How long have I been streaming this? For like almost two hours? I still got to beat the main campaign, which I've beaten like two times already. <laughs> like, I, I couldn't, I couldn't hold it in guys, but I, I still have my playthrough saved. So you'll see exactly what I'm going to do. I'll probably do that like a little bit later tonight. Ooh, I'm do a little head kick. Let's see. That knife just is insanely... I don't think Krauser's knife breaks. Does it? I'm not sure. Alright, get off fire, please. Thank you. Like, I, I, I know one person could say, well, most fan bases are bad, but it's not, it's not, I mean, you see this kind of stuff in the Mega Man fan base? No. <laughs> you really don't see it. They barely get any releases anyway, so. Like, it's all quiet on the Western front. Some, some fan bases are just a little bit more extreme than others. 20 enemies killed, which means they're going to spawn glorious Plagos. I'll take care of him really quickly. Oh! I killed him in like five seconds. Oh, where's the enemies? Come on, he's so far away. I got him. Well, so far, so they're killing the enemies for me. Great, stay down, bitch. Ooh, I knew that was coming too. These stupid guys on 
The damn pendulum just keeps getting me. What is this? 18th century Greece? Jesus Christ! Oh, get off me! There we go. Okay, he's dead, apparently, but his cloak, covenant cloak, is still on the ground. You know what? Since Krauser's knife doesn't break, I might as well just stab him. It's quicker. Yeah. Yep. That works. Hmm. So keep that in mind. Go for the leg. Stab. He didn't want to be stabbed. Oh, fuck you. Oh shit, he has a chain metal on his head, so I gotta be weary of that. Uh, it's time for one grenade. The numero one. Fuck me. You know what? I'll do one more. What I got? A C? Oh, that's my lowest rank by far. I'm gonna try out Krauser on the island. I need a, I need a revenge arc. I need I, I need to get something with Krauser before I go. Revenge, revenge time. It feels like he doesn't get a lot of TMP ammo. At least the plus side is I'll be able to deal with like. The enemies with the machine guns because I'll have the arms to deal with everything. Yes, they're also missing a stage too. I believe it is the uh, docks. Or in the original they were called the waterworks. Very eccentric area with uh, the double bladed chainsaw ganado. Uh, Super Salvador. I'm just sort of looking around seeing what's in here. Map's kind of a little bit more basic uh, than I remember it. He pushed me, but didn't do shit. There we go. Gotta go upstairs now. I remember Krauser used to be like the fastest character in the original Mercs. Uh, and he still has the highest health, I believe, so they didn't change that. He doesn't feel that. He has, well, he's faster than Luis. Luis is the slowest character. Ow. And then I just fight my way downstairs. All right, it's go time. Step. Okay, these guys with the electric prods can fuck themselves. Ooh. Roundhouse kick. All right, who else is coming up here? Ooh -hoo. Oh, I can't pick that up. Ah, 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 no, no, no. Well, I can't get that in my case. You know what? They should have gave people like different case sizes. 
Depending, so you got your, your your person that has the least amount of stuff, and then you have a person that has like a buffed up case, maybe. Extra large, and then um, you can have your strategies from there, or unlock stuff like the mercenaries, uh, 3DS, or change out loadouts like um, that game as well. So if you want Krauser's loadout for Hunk, you could do that, or if you want Hunk's loadout for Krauser, you can switch it out, no problem. All about customization, man. Shit. Good night. Oh shit. Well, here we go. Oh shit, it's dim sometime. Ah. Oh, you little bitch. He's here, he's here, he's here. Killed him. Oh, you can't fuck with these arms now, can you? He just plastered to the wall like a piece of paper. <laughs> I got somebody. That was a desperation grenade if I ever saw one, man. This might be a good idea, actually. Ooh. Uh, the problem is the reloading. Get on your knees, motherfucker. There we go. Full fire, shit. <sighs> You little motherfucker. Ah, oh, I love stabbing him. Oh, Carajo! Ooh. He straight up punched me. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> okay, now I need to heal. God. Meet our flashbang, God! You little munchkins, you little ratons! Oh shit! Whoa! That was awesome! You know what? Time for another arrow. Fucking thing hit me. What a lucky shot. Um, I'm going to throw a heavy grenade and hopefully it kills those two right there. I blew that man in half. Oh my god. Oh! Fuck man, do see holy! Oh you hit puta! <laughs> he got me cursing his Spanish, god. Oh you motherfucker! Really? They 
replace my giant arm, you cocksuckers! Ah, oh, there we go. Oh god, I almost did not avoid that. Wow, he just... Crowds are so strong, he kicked the plug out of his head. You saw that, right? Jesus Christ, this man is... He's on steroids or something. Like, oh god! Whoop! This is just a cavalcade of kicking people up and down the stairs. Hello! Oh, ow. How fast can I drop this? Very quickly, okay. Oh, that was a that was actually a good move because he just dropped some dynamite. Bye, boys. Oh, what the fuck? I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. So glad for auto sword. I pressed that by accident, by the way. <laughs> Despite missing characters, this mode does not disappoint. Yeah, mercenaries is just always a really good time. No alcohol required. Somehow, some way, they just managed to make it really fun. Although I, I do really miss Wesker. I think I, if I if Wesker was in this mode, I'd be playing this all night. Oh no! Uh, this is he spawned the plaga. This is bad. That's the head plaga too. So he would kill you in one hit if you're very close to him. Still functions the same. Bull guy, no, no, no. He's different. He's a little different. I think I killed one, and you're next. Dude, Krauser's arm is so badass, and the fact that you could use it more than once. Oh man. Fuck you, asshole. Oh. That guy's an RPG. He's just standing there. <laughs> oh, what am I supposed to do with this? This mode is insane. I'm gonna stab you right in the neck. I think I might get it, people. Hopefully. Oh, shit. I right, kill somebody fast. Okay, good. This is probably the worst place to be, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's like dudes everywhere. Well, I gotta go now and take care of no problem, KJ. Hopefully you enjoyed the stream as usual and me panicking like 5,000 times. That's always a treat. And hopefully you take care of yourself. See you later, man. Oh, sweet Jesus. I am panicking like a mother. Yes, I am. He's gonna hit me. Oh, he's gonna- he's fucked my combo. He did. What the hell? Yo, I'm doing that over. No way. I got completely gangbanged. I got an S though, so I'll take it. Yeah, that was not- that was not a good place. You know what? You know what, you mother- I'm gonna pick him. And you're not gonna like it. I'm gonna pick Hunk. The most broken character of the game. Alright, I gotta find all times. I almost had it with Krauser. I almost had it. I'm probably definitely gonna be playing more of this uh, tomorrow. Hopefully my runs are luckier. I did alright today, but... Some runs, man. I get, I get to the end and it pisses me off. They got to go stairs. I'm not fighting on that stairway though. I think that was my biggest boon. Nope. Yeah, huh? I'm telling you, he's broken. 
This is this is the character you want to play with. When you get him, that is easy street. The definition of punk is slugs for everybody. I actually like that. Because they made his MP5 even way stronger than it was in the original RE4 Mercs. It's absolutely ridiculous. I think they overpowered him. You'll see the second I start shooting somebody. First, I gotta get these timers because they're all the way over here. I kind of miss when they look like clocks. Uh, them looking like orbs is weird, but that's how they kind of looked at RE Village, so I'm like, ah, oh, man, you know, it's just not the same. It's not the same. Let's see, it's something over here that I can grab. Oh, it's one more down here, so once I grab that last, uh, orb, I miss when they look like clocks. It's just a little nitpick of mine. One more. I have to go back here and get some stuff, which is the death trap. But it looks like a turret back there. He's gonna try to hit me, grab me, or do nothing. Okay. Dude, look at that. This gun is just broken, man. Look at that. What a definition of unfair. Cause the baby hopped down and they got shot too. Fuck with him? Oh. All I need to do is this, just snap his neck like a twig. Oh, get the fuck off me. Alright, I got one flash I could use. Yeah, this is free. Free neck snaps for everybody. Your turn, every <laughs> move is so awesome, man. Walk a little closer. Oh shit. Infinite ammo time. Oh, this is the best shit ever. I swear to God. If you want easy S ranks, this is your man. Easy. Easy. You can just do that shit. Killed a chicken, so I guess I got a golden chicken egg. So it is beneficial. And they used to, you know what the fuck the chickens in Resident Evil 4 Remake and Resident Evil 5, they can hit you. I always shoot them. I always kill them each and every single time because of that. On your knees. Sure. Oh. These dudes wearing helmets, that's why I hate the soldiers so much in the island section. Oh shit! Oh. I'm just kicking the shit out. I'm just kicking them! Hold it up like some trash and just kick him. I'm so surprised they didn't spawn the sub boss. Oh, kicked him out like some trash. <laughs> oh no, okay. I'm having too much fun now. Hello, fellas. Snap your neck. Can I snap his neck real quick? There we go. I don't know. It looked like he had a shaved ball sack on his head. That was just weird. What did that guy fall over for? Holy shit. There we go. Stop infecting people, please. It reminds me of that creature on Death Space that like will infect the bodies and 
make him get back up. The effector. What an app name. Speaking of which, I gotta go back to that remake, man. I've been tripping. Oh, there you go. Your turn too, bitch. The fact that you could do that to a sub boss is insane. But it wouldn't be RE4 Mercs without it because Hunk could do that in the original. Oh, he's gyrating. No, no, no. Let's see, how can I take care of him? Well, heavy grenade should do it. Oh shit, it killed him. Nice. Oh, this is, this is too heavy for me, gentlemen. Oh God. So much shit stuck in animations down here. <laughs> Okay, sign the hill. And now we just snap next. Let's see that guy with the RPG. Oh, there's two of them. He's dead. Yeah, if you shoot their leg off, they're dead. Keep going. Full guy. Um, grenade toss. Cause I think I'm just dead. Uh. Fuck! I didn't get the combo, but I lived. That was better than nothing, I guess. What the hell? I got hit with two RPGs. They can't stop me. They know I'm that badass. They know. They they knew I got hit with two RPGs at the same time. <laughs> that was crazy. I'm gonna do that one more time. I never seen anything like that where they need two rockets to kill me. Two RPGs, holy shit. I've never, I just started playing this too. I never got hit with two of those on S rank. All right, let me make sure I know where all the timers are. Oh, it's mercenaries live that gets me. All right, we're going this way. And there's one upstairs. Uh, one thing that sucks is they kind of, I, I think they got rid of bonus time, if I'm not too mistaken. Uh, you could do that. Like, if you get bonus time, you'll get extra points. And that's not, I don't think that's in this one. Uh, it's the little gold clocks that you will unlock in the chest. But that's all right, though. Maybe they'll fix it for extreme mode. Now they're everywhere. Oh, uh, no. Get the fuck away. Keep me in the highway. Get the fuck out of my way. No. <laughs> uh, fucking bad boys, too, I swear. That movie is peak comedy gold. <laughs> like you ever make love to a man? You want to? <laughs> it's like what the fuck? Ah. Uh. That man Will Smith was drunk when he made that movie. I'm telling you now. 
stuff back here. And that Ganado will still do nothing because he's really as stupid. He's down. Alright, now I can use this turret efficiently. I didn't mean to blow that up, but whatever. Nice that they put this in because, once again, this wasn't in the original, but it makes sense for them to have the turrets on the base. Island is still not my favorite level. I hate it. I, I feel like out, out of all the levels they changed for Remake 4, Island still feels the same. It's a bunch of guys that have a lot of weapons, but no real variation to it. If You'll see what I mean when I get there in the campaign, but it feels the same. Even this area looks the same too. It's like not much change to it. Like I, if if there's any levels they should have changed more as the island, but they didn't. There's a few sections that's like a little bit different, but not a lot. It's like beef for beat, like the original. I'm like, huh? Even fighting Krauser was like similar to the original. I'm like, okay, you got little gun turrets everywhere. I think someone's on a turret, actually. No, he... Whoa, whoa. <laughs> He's trying to snipe me from afar. Oh, man. You see that? I just... One thing I like about the knife parry in this game is that you can just parry bullets like you're absolutely amazing. Oh, oh just like that. <laughs> Time for you to go sleep. And he's done forever. I have no more healing items after this, so I gotta be real careful. This man just parried 5,000 bullets. Did you fucking see that? I have too many grenades, so I might as well waste them. There we go. I was a stumbling drunk with the rocket launcher again. Holy shit. Kick him out. Time bonus is in, but it works differently. Oh, I see. Maybe it's that bonus rate at the top. I'm so used to collecting them now that it's just like, yeah, I just prefer the original on that one. But the gameplay of this is definitely leagues above 100%. Imagine playing RE5 with your friend. With this gameplay, it's going it's going to be fucking phenomenal. Like I I I, I told the chat earlier, I think they're gonna remake five next. I I have a feeling. Oh Veronica Truthers be damned because they already have the basic principal gameplay of Mercs and they have the characters and they have the voice actors. They have everything for RE5 that you can muster. Not saying that I wouldn't play a Cove Veronica remake. Because I think they could do a lot with Wesker coming back and whatnot. Um, and that game is like Wesker's game, man. It's like, he's so cheesy, hams it up. Um, and he feels like a real threat. And I guess you could also say it's the Ashford's game as well. Because like you're, you're roaming around Antarctica wondering what is going on with this fucked up family. So it's a, it's a combination of a lot of cool things they could do with a remake. Uh, but that being said, I I feel like Capcom likes to put Co Veronica in the dumpster. So if it's not the next remake, I won't be surprised at all. Because I feel like <laughs> you got RE5 where it's like the best selling RE game. <laughs> Just like the facts are the facts. Like, hey, this sold like a lot of copies. We could put in co-op for longevity and we don't have to worry about it for a good while. Yeah, I just I just have a feeling from a business standpoint, I think they're going to go with co not Co-Veronica, uh, RE5. Uh, from a fan standpoint, most people want Co-Veronica. I didn't know I could break his neck like that. Okay. Oh, shit. 
He thought he could clothesline me. There we go. Thank God. And I'm about to unleash right on this dude right up here. He's dead. All right, great, great, great. This is a little bit better than last run. Although, as I said, I don't think I have a lot of healing items. I got one green herb. That's it. <laughs> yes, the parry right into the next snap. Oh, last flashbang too. I need it though, cause I'm not dealing with that. We got one more. There we go. But yeah, I, I don't mind either. Remake RE5. Fuck it. Maybe they can make Irving into uh, Irving and Excella. Maybe they can make those two into better characters, huh? Maybe they can do that. I can't. I can't stand Excella, man. She's just a horny bitch. That's all she is, and and she's stupid too. Like, come on, man. You knew Wesker was gonna betray you. You're talking about Albert Wesker. It's like, it, you know, if they remade RE5, you could at least make it where she's seductive to Wesker. But give her some brains or something like. You know where she finds out like hey this is probably not the guy i should be messing with this, this is probably not ideal and she finds out a little bit too late you know give her some brain some intelligence instead it's like hey you're walking into this trap to prove yourself <laughs> you're gonna get fucked excella here it comes Oh no. Uh I think another grenade will end them. Funny how Wesker how less Wesker I'm reading that wrong. Funny how less of a threat Wesker was in the original Co Veronica, all the extra scenes of Co Veronica X fixed him. Yeah, cause I think he loses in the original battle to Alexia. And I don't know. Oh so <laughs> I figure I pause to talk about this. I kind of prefer both versions. Like it's weird because on the one hand, Wesker losing to Alexia shows how strong she is and how she holy shit, she just kicked the ass of someone that's like a literal supervillain with superpowers. On the other hand, I kind of like the idea of him fighting back because he just recently got these powers. He's strong. Why wouldn't he draw to a conclusion and have a draw here? Like, it's just both of them in their own respective context makes sense. So when I saw that scene, I was like, and I saw the differences between them. I like, it kind of made sense for Wesker to lose. And it kind of made sense for Wesker to go to a draw. I don't know. Is that weird? Like, both scenes made sense. Holy fuck. I need to get out of this corner. Yep, because this is not doing me any favors. But if they remade Cole Veronica, then I kind of would like them to go with the X version. Because I, I feel like uh, from a standpoint of writing and... And showing all flashy scenes, you could do a little bit more with Alexia and Wesker like fighting. Like that'd be dope. Another grenade to thin the herd. And there's dynamite. There's dynamite. Oh my god. Alright, I'm throwing this. Fuck this. It just immediately snapped his neck. Oh. Oh my god. Dude, they just throw like eight. And people want an extreme mode for this? Imagine how many Ganado is going to be on screen. Yeah, fuck with me. 
You can't fuck with me! Oh, they are trying to, though. Infinite ammo, say my name. Oh, God! I'm getting turned into cheese. Another grenade, please! Uh, fuck it, I'm throwing all of them. Okay. Absolute insanity. Woo! Woo! That was intense! Oh, man. S++. No matter what happens with Wesker and Cole Veronica, he will never be Michelle Rodriguez in the RA movies. I heard they brought her back to life. Is that true? Like, she was a zombie at one point, and then they brought her back. I'm just like, oh, my God. Oh, man. It's like, what's the point of killing her in the first movie if you're going to bring her back to life? It makes no goddamn sense. I hate it. I'm just playing as Leon for lulls. Uh, as I said, I don't really like his loadout too much, just like I did in the original. I, I feel like if you, playing this version of Mercs, if you didn't like some of the characters, their attributes, like, like, their fucking, their attributes are like the same. Like, Leon is, and I, I think I lost the timer, so let me restart it. Uh, but Leon is the same. Even with a sniper rifle, he's he's not that good, and he wasn't good in the original. And uh, the original Hunk was good, and he's a monster in this. And the original Krauser was good, and he's a monster in this. So it seems like they took all the people that were great and made them even better. Whereas the people that sucked, they might say, "Here, here's a sniper rifle." Here's this, here's that. <laughs> They're not really as good as they were before. Nothing changes. Then her then they cloned her twice and those clones got clapped. So Michelle Rodriguez was pointless in those movies. What the hell? What are they doing? Wow, that's just wasted talent. I'm still trying to remember what is my favorite role that she did. Honestly, I would just say I liked her in Fast and Furious. And she is cool as Letty. Totally did not mind her in those movies. Fuck. And just like everybody else, like everyone kept saying in the past, her and Vin Diesel are fucking... I mean, they kept saying that like all the time, like her and Vin Diesel just fucked. I was like, what the hell? Okay. Oh, you just punched me like that. Okay. I think there's one more to the far side with Leon. His, his timer placement is weird. Unfortunately. So you have to sort of deal with it. The guy just split in half like a taco. I'm just gonna wait until they come up here. And that's close enough. Wait, and before I grab that, first things first. There. I was wondering why is that not hitting? There's this thing rear. One was a civilian clone from the PTA meetings. The other clone was an umbrella soldier who beat Leon's ass using Sattler's moves. Are you kidding? Are you serious? 
Dude, I do not want to watch the end of these RE movies with the group. I just have a feeling that I'm gonna I'm gonna get brain cancer. And and you know you know what's funny? They're making more RE live action movies still with screen gems and Constantine films, and it's gonna be based on Umbrella Chronicles. I was like, alright, you're gonna make the worst. Paul Anderson is the producer, apparently. And I'm not happy. Uh, like, Resident Evil live action in, in the hands of Sony, Screen Gems, Constantine Films, Paul Anderson. Stop. It's not working. You're not, you're, you're making trash over and over again. It, it's not working. It's stop. Like how do you, like Umbrella Chronicles is already a bridge. How are they gonna make it worse? I think they're gonna say, oh well, we're gonna do another hard reboot and hopefully the fans get it this time. You just did that with Welcome to Raccoon City. You you literally just said, hey, we're gonna go back to roots and we're going to finally put RE2 and RE1 on the silver screen. And now you're doing Potentially another reboot. Assuming this is not a sequel to to Welcome to Raccoon City. I have no faith in this movie. I'm going to be honest, if people enjoy these films, more power to you. I think they are doing themselves a huge disservice. Capcom needs to take back the Resident Evil IP from Sony and Screen Gems. Stop giving these people these movies. It's not working. You know it's working? You, you, you want to know what's working? HBO <laughs> and how and how they handled The Last of Us. Give Resident Evil to someone who has a budget behind them and a vision just like that. And I guarantee you it's going to be the most watched show of all time. Make something like Arclay where it's like, here's a detective trying to figure out what's going on before the t-virus outbreak hits that was a cool idea that was a unique idea it never got off the ground when so many people wanted it i'm like come on what are you guys doing you have the winning formula right in your hands and you don't take it i'm just so pissed because there's so much wasted potential uh a resident evil anime People asked for that for years. <laughs> DMC got one before RE. What? What is going on? What are you people? What? What is? What are these people in Hollywood doing? Oh my god, that pisses me off so bad. Yeah, I'm just playing this for fun because oh my god, I gotta get used to Leon's guns. I missed. Fuck. Uh, what what other idea they can make that would be a good idea, better than all the shit they put out? Um, let's see. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Uh, try to find a home for uh, making something equivalent to. Now I know people were like saying, "Oh, Infinite Darkness is just uh, it was just a one hour." CGI movie. They didn't need to split this into a TV show. Okay, here's what you can do with Infinite Darkness season two. Make it longer, right? Uh, make it like eight episodes, ten episodes, uh, and put an interesting story behind it on Netflix again. People will watch it, tune in if it's interesting, instead of just splitting up a movie into like four episodes. It's you know, that's what people criticize with the original. Uh, so make it longer, make it more interesting, uh, put more horror in there. I guarantee it'd be a hit. It, it, it's, it's, it's so easy, but they make it so hard. Um, it also feels like these movies are Hollywood folks trying to take the series too seriously with these none too subtle statements. Uh, I, I think it's also a case of them 
trying to do all this stuff that's not equivalent to the source material whatsoever. And you see, the problem is when you see the Netflix show, you see like the the virus or whatever inside the lady, and she starts dancing. Like, when has that ever happened in Resident Evil ever? I can tell you, it's some showrunner who thought that was a good idea, made that up, and figured, hey, this would be entertaining without catching the ire of Resident Evil fans. Just make a biological outbreak and, and put interesting characters behind it. And that's all you got to do when they don't do that. <laughs> and, and they make uh, uh, rest in peace to the man last Reddick. But I'm telling you, that scene where he was shooting all the Weskers was so funny. He's the one who gave that show grace and somehow they still messed it up. When I saw that, I'm like, I'm not watching the show. I'm not, I'm not doing it. People, people, I, I'm not hate watching it. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just, I'm just not going to tune in. And I'm glad I didn't because what people experienced was more pain and more developers not getting the idea of Resident Evil. That was a straight up suplex right there. Oh man. Come on, take it in the fucking kneecap already. There we go. Oh, she's still coming. Oh my god. It's just... I don't know what they're gonna do. Uh, this Constantine films. Why is why is Paul Anderson still in business? Like, he, he peaked. Where, where did he peak? He peaked with RE1. Because, look... People talk shit about Paul Anderson, right? I, I I know, me included. I'm talking shit about him right now, but... I liked the first RE movie. It's, it wasn't that bad. It was actually pretty decent. Pretty decent. Granted, I, I, I'm not a big fan of Alice. Uh, I, I, I don't like Alice, but I like that movie. I think, I think the premise of that movie... Straightforward people getting slaughtered in the underground. It made sense. Uh, and then with the sequels, they made it worse, but, but then, and he made Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat was dope. That was dope as fuck, man. That's literally the best Mortal Kombat movie ever right now. It still is. Oh, he fell right into my trap too. Bullet Bill over here in the building getting burned and shooting these Ganados at the same time. Ow. Still didn't go upstairs to get the timer. I'm too scared to do it. There we go. Center restock. Uh, trying to get the sniper out. Oh yes. So far, I'm doing better on this run than the last one. I'm playing as basic bitch Leon here. You just gotta go for the leg. I know the tech now. Shit, can I make it? We'll see. Oh, I'm not sure, senor. It's funny how the first movie was intended to be canon at first, taking place at the same time as RE1. Uh, yeah, I'm glad they changed that into an OC story, because that wouldn't have worked. You gotta figure out how they're down there in Nest, and then how the events tie in with Resident Evil 1. Too much work. I think I might be able to make it. Yes? Hold on, wait a minute. All right, let's do this. Oh shit. Let me get in there. Right in the neck. Oh, there's my friend, Chainsaw Guy. Now you're gonna pay. Oh, 
Oh fuck, I hate when he does that. Okay, Leon's... He might not be that bad. <laughs> He's better than Luis, I can tell you this much. Not that guy in the ass. Ah! Oh, damn it. I have an idea. Whoa! That almost killed me. Ah. Oh my god! Oh, are you serious? Okay. You, you really want to fuck with my sniper rifle, though? Sure, okay. Oh, they really are mad today. If he would have grabbed me, he would have fucked my combo. That would have been it. today oh my fucking god let me see looking back at re1 the only well the movie the only fault i have with it is the lack of game characters yeah i agree because it's like it's all oc i can't move dude what in the fuck's name i have to use it because there's no way i can get out too many ganado here Too many of you, motherfucker. I'm gonna save the grenades until the uh, chainsaw guy spawns. Hopefully, I can like sort of stun him. That's the best I can do since I use my ultimate. No boys, no. I'll use one grenade. I got my old back. Oh fuck! Get on your knees, come on, bitch. There we go. And yes, we have trouble. Oh, fuck. Yo, they, the fact that they like to double team your ass on Mercs. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Oh, shit. on my soul well I got I got one unbelievable man I popped that right at the right time and now I have no ammo Anyway. Oh, I am surgical with that bitch. I'm so surgical with it. Still got to keep moving. Oh. 
Oh shit, okay, he didn't grab it. Thank God. Oh shit! Oh! If I'm lucky, it's gonna. Nope. Not gonna kill nobody. Oh fuck, I was so close too. I'm getting closer though. With all this practice, I'm getting closer. Mostly all these twisty boys over here. And what to do with them. And if Leon had more flashbangs, this is like super doable for S++, but... For now, for the time being, I have to take what I got. I'm getting closer, though. I'm definitely going to play more of this, uh tomorrow or maybe later on assuming I can beat the campaign real quick I gotta go to my other runs I'm just playing on professional <laughs> re4 remake and trying to master that really this is how it's crazy how they just chain beat the shit out of you <laughs> I burst out laughing. Wait, see. Oh, yeah. Wesker losing his foot to the door. I'm like, you just ended one of the most badass villains of all time. By getting his foot cut off. By an elevator. And him groveling saying, help me. I have no words. That is quite far the worst video game adaptation of all time it's probably almost as bad as the super mario brothers movie and i'm being for real oh no i pressed the button i pressed it you son of a bitch you motherfucker <laughs> oh shit okay well i was playing for shits and giggles so did I still get an S plus? Wow, even though I died. You know what? Man. I can't. I, I, I just... Just thinking about the sheer stupidity of these movies, just... I, I can't concentrate right now. <laughs> oh my god. Down the closet. That scared me the first time, but now it's like common and routine. I just don't know what they were thinking. Hmm. Leon trying to fill up on Ada's leg when they sit together on the copter is so awkward. It's like he does it out of nowhere. Like, come on, man. We're talking about Leon Kennedy, the flirtatious agent. Of uh, the do or die agents and just randomly fucking gropes Ada for no reason. It's like that's not that's not something Leon would do. What the fuck is something that Ada would initiate and then he would you know lead into that. What are you doing? Like what the fuck is this movie, man? Come on. It seriously gives me a headache. <sighs> Cause you know you know how Leon and Ada's relationship is. It is flirty. It's complicated. It 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 makes sense to the characters. And then you have this motherfucker like just grabbing on her randomly. I'm like, that's harassment, you sick fuck. I was like, what what the hell is this movie? Uh, yo, I can make entire hour long podcast just just trying to make sense of the RE movies, and I can't. Uh, the only thing I would say is that, you know, CGI movies definitely, you know, no matter what people think of them and how over the top they can get, way more enjoyable than live action Tuity. I, I have not found one singular live action RE movie that I liked outside of the original, and that's saying something. I didn't even like Retribution 
and um, what else? No, it's not Retribution. I know that's the one people don't like. Uh, it's another one that people try to generally say, hey, this movie's uh, kind of okay. It's, it's uh, Apocalypse. I don't like Apocalypse. Because guess what? Jill gets sidelined in her own movie for Alice. And like, how do people, how do people like this movie? And why do people think it's, 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 it's not so bad? And I don't like that movie. Uh, they turned Nemesis into a simp. And, and fucking, I don't know, dude, like, uh, okay. The, the actress that did Jill is perfect. But the fact that the fact that they give everything to Alice is weird to me. Even defeating Nemesis. And then they tried to shoehorn in that whole Oh Matt, Matt! That's the guy from RE1 that you probably didn't care about, but he's he's Nemesis now apparently, so that's Nemesis' backstory in this movie. I was just like, I just wish he was still a mysterious monster. You don't know who he was or, or 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 where he came from. He just was there to kill stars, and that's it. Instead, it's the longing, loving boyfriend. What the fuck? Come on! Oh, this gives me a headache. I hate these movies so much. Oh. If I had to watch them again, I would just... My brain couldn't take it. <laughs> I couldn't take it. Even if you paid me, I'd be like, man, no. Uh, this son of a bitch right here. Get bucked on, son. Oh fuck, I missed. Stop trying to knife me. You learn your lessons, son of a bitch. Ooh. He just popped on the other side of the screen. That's funny. Boom. There we go. Stab him in the neck. I just met this woman. I'm gonna show up my hand in her dress. Like, that's not Leon, man. Come on, man. Uh, it's it's such a it's such a shame because Paul Anderson has so much potential. He did. He made he made Event Horizon, which is pretty fucking good. He made RE1, which was decent. He made Mortal Kombat, which was a phenomenal movie. And after that, did he also make Fifth Element? Did he? I don't remember. If he did, I also like that movie, but I don't, I don't know if he made it or not. I'm not. I'm not too entirely sure. All I know is I think that's Mila's. She's in it. She's uh, Lilu. I wouldn't be surprised if he did. <laughs> I would not be surprised. Bam. Leon's ult is actually better than I thought it would be. Not bad, even though it's like it's like he gets a sort of buff to his ammo. It's not infinite ammo, but it is something meaningful, I guess. Actually, I'm gonna look that up. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Fifth Elements was that Paul Anderson's first movie or no? I'd be shocked if I was right about that. Oh no, it's Luke Besson. Okay. Which is is that the guy that did the professional? Right? I'm not, I'm not entirely too certain. Let me let me go look at his name. Ah La Femme Nikita, which I've heard before. Leon the Professional. I just want yes okay uh, so that was my favorite movie that he ever did uh luke besson okay okay thank you for reminding me yeah paul anderson did not make fifth element but those movies i listed 
um, Event Horizon, Resident Evil 1, and Mortal Kombat, phenomenal, in a way. Like, it's just, just good. They're, they're good movies. Um, but most of his filmography is trash. I never watched Alien vs. Predator, so I can't say. Uh, I, I just remember when people said it was PG-13, that's when they kind of clocked out. I do, I, I, I remember that. They were like, nah, I'm not watching this. <laughs> the PG-13 alien movie, I'm not watching it. Uh. Which, again, I, I'm not one of those types of people, I'm not, uh, where I see, oh, a traditionally known... R-rated franchise turns PG-13 in one of their movies is automatically trash. I'm not like that. Because Die Hard 4, I believe, uh, Live Free or Die Hard, that movie is actually pretty damn good. And it's, it's PG-13. And, you know, McLean doesn't curse as much anymore, but it's still not bad. So I, I'm like I love Live for Your Die Hard. That was that was a great movie. Fucking hell, they are everywhere. I'm gonna pop out the shotgun real quick. And of course a plaga spawns. Ooh, thank god I got that out before he hit me, otherwise I definitely would have lost the combo. They recovered. Hey, when they run up on you and grab you, dude, it's like the worst thing in the world. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Dude, like four things grabbed me at the same time. Stop playing with me. I need to do something about that arrow guy up there. You know what? I have the perfect solution. See? Oh, shit! Okay. Last heal. So we gotta get lucky or something. They spawned the Bella Twins. There we go. Oh, this is not good. Um, ladies and gentlemen. So he's going to grab me and she's going to get back up. What the? I was stuck in that corner. Oh my fucking God. But that was fun. I'm gonna take a break for now because Mercs is just I got a few S rings today and other runs I didn't get so lucky but you know that comes with the territory so I will probably play more of this either later on tonight or tomorrow and if I come back I'm gonna play the campaign on hardcore and finish up and beat the game on stream which I need to do and uh oh shit I'm, I'm looking at some star wars stuff so uh i will definitely see you guys another time it was fun roasting the re movies with you guys and 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 doing all that and i just like i said it's ptsd so if i watch them again i have a feeling that i'm just not gonna be too happy about it <laughs> i'm just not gonna be too happy um but i will see you guys next time have a beautiful night for now and i might come back later on tonight until then take care of yourselves be good people and as always